Hey, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. Working on the 65 hardtop right now. And uh, I wasn't going to video this, but I thought, well, maybe someone could find value in it. I had to remove this uh, defrost grate and speaker cover. So it's going back in now, and I just wanted to cover how you do that. So there's a screw on this side. It's a Phillips. And a screw on that side, and it's a Phillips. Now, don't start prying on it because there's four bolts, studs that go down in underneath where the speaker goes. So you'll go down underneath here and there's one of those studs right there. I don't know if you can see it, there's another one back there. And they're not the speaker studs, these are separate studs, but near the speaker. And another one there. And like right there is the other one. You don't have to take the speaker out to do this. Um, I do have the heater uh, housing out so it makes it a lot easier to get in there with your arm I also while I was in there I had to re to fix one of the heater uh, vent ducts that's why I did it so let's talk a little bit about the vent ducts uh, the defrost ducts rather the defrost ducts come out with two screws and I believe they're 5 16 and you have to, you do have to take that grate off to get at those uh, defrost ducts. So there's a screw, and a screw going down holds those kind of like cardboard defrost ducts in. Same on both sides. So if you have a defrost duct that is come loose on you, it could be torn away from its mount. I just JB welded the one I had back on, but then you have to take this off to get at them. And a good chance to clean all that while you're in there. So anyway, there's just recap a bit, two Phillips screwdrivers, Phillips screws on each side, four three-eighths heads with the uh, Star Washer Incorporated in them. There's a name for those. I'm not on the top of my head, I don't have it. Um, but they have the Star Washer built right into the nut and they're three-eighths head. You have to remove all this, which is the clock and uh, assembly and vents. So if you never have done that off before, have taken that off before, the little knobs, they have screws on the end. And that's pretty much it. Of course, there's two screws holding that up. And by factory, at the factory, they put tape on these right here. So if you have some uh, fabric tape, it's like hockey stick tape. That's what I'm using is hockey stick tape stick tape but there's other tape that's proper for it you could use anything as long as you tape it to keep the vibration down now if you can't get your hand up in there maybe you will have to drop the speaker i don't know i didn't have to because i had access from below but not a, i don't know how it is with this with the housing in it looks like you could anyway that's it there's uh like i say four studs don't pry on it until you get these bolts out and then you can just pop that up out of there and clean it off nice and make it smell good look good and that's it that's how you get the speaker and defrost grate out of a 65 thunderbird 64 65 66 and uh, hopefully that's helped somebody thanks a lot and i'll catch you in the next one